okay? I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I play too much. I don't have no attitude today. What's good, y'all? It's another week, so it's another video. Ah. However, I do feel a little under the weather today. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little sick. I ain't even going to play around with y'all. My throat, my nose. I don't know if this is an allergy thing or what, but I'm not feeling my best. But it don't even matter because... I made a promise. I made a promise to y'all that we're going out this week. So we're going out this week, okay? All right, so we finna be outside. Y'all see them in the car. So we finna go somewhere, okay? And I'll go ahead and let you know what we're doing today. Lord. So I have researched six museums in Houston, Texas that are free today. Some of them are free every day. A couple of them are only free today. And we will be hitting up as many as possible today. I wanna say every single one so bad, but I already know like, what time is it? Like one? Nah, we're not gonna be able to hit all of these up because some of these close at six, five, you know. And then there is one specific museum that I can't wait to go to. It's so big, but I do believe that it's going to take me a couple hours to get through. I do believe that. Some of these museums, you know, have little exhibits that I'm not able to take my camera in. I'm going to see if I can sneak my phone through these places and get some kind of footage with that. But other than that, it's going to be a fun day. I love art, love museums. I love interactive art. The type of art that I can grasp at and do things with and manipulate on my own. I love interactive art. I think I've like fallen in love with that over the past couple of years. You know, back in Atlanta, they got like the trap museum and stuff like that. Like little cute stuff. And Candytopia. I've been to Candytopia. I don't care if it's for kids. I don't care what y'all say. Candytopia is so fun. I don't care what y'all say. That place is not for kids. Not just for kids. It's for everybody. Things can be for everybody. Why you gotta put an age limit on everything? It's just jumping in a marshmallow pit. It's okay. It's okay. Kids can do that and adults can do that. It's fine. Anyway, enough of my rant. I'm talking too much, clearly. So let's go ahead and get on the road. I think I'm around like 15 minutes away from all of these. They're kind of like all near each other which works out perfect for me so we're gonna see how many we can hit up today y'all today so number one on my list the houston museum of african-american culture i think it's very very fitting and important to start off with this one um i'm very excited i'm stoked <laughs> let's do it like i feel like a kid in a candy shop let's do it I'm excited. I done took my little um, ashwagandha gummy. I got my Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get this show on the roll. I'm ready. Houston Museum of African American Culture. We are on the way. This is empty. Open. I'm gonna take some pictures. What kind of African American art is this? Excuse me, sir. Oh, hi. I'm afraid we are closed. I just uh, realized that. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. nothing in here. Yeah, I was just hoping that gentleman moved somewhere. We, uh, 
just took down an exhibition and we're reopening on April 27th. April 27th, okay. Yeah, we right. have two new big shows coming up. Okay, and awesome. And we have a big uh, reception for shows on uh, Thursday the 27th and Friday the 28th from 6 to 8. Okay. We'll have drinks, the artists will be here, so come oh, through. Awesome. Please, please, please. I definitely will. All right. Thank you, sorry. You take care. <laughs> no problem. I'm mad he caught me before I started taking pictures because I was going to take some pictures, honey. But they're closed. Was not supposed to walk in there. So on to the next one. I'm not sure what the next one's going to be, y'all. Let me map it out real quick. I feel like I wasted a little time there, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna find us another spot. I think I had, there was this place called the Manil Museum or Manil Museum. I think it's closed. I think I've been past that place before. So that's up next. The Manil Collection, the Mental Collection. I'm pretty sure it's kind of close by, so we're about to go down there next and see what they have. I'm so disappointed. Like, I was ready to see some black stuff. I sound like a white person. I'm really disappointed that this place is closed, though. Like, literally empty. The Manil Collection is seven minutes away. Let's do that. All right, y'all. Let's hit the road. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. Yeah, yeah. Y'all stuck with me today. All right, y'all. We're here at the Mental Collection. It looks really pretty. I got to show y'all. Actually. Yeah, let me just show y'all how it looks out here. So it looks beautiful. So yeah, it looks beautiful on the outside. Hopefully they'll let us in and hopefully there'll be art in here. That last place just really disappointed me. And it was the only like African American one that I could find. But the mental collection, um, I don't know. This is one of my last options, honestly, because it's a smaller one. I'm trying to get the small ones first. So I don't know what's in here. I didn't do much research on it. But let's find out. Let's just find out. That's exactly what we're going to do. It looks pretty big. Might take me a minute. Hopefully they let my camera in. But yeah, y'all. Who are you looking at like that, girl? Okay, let me get up out of here before I have to start something with somebody out here in Houston, Texas. Let me go ahead and get in this building. Is that Britney Spears? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Who All right, so let's count so far. First one, we couldn't even go to. Second one, had multiple locations, and I just went to a few of them. I need a break. We're not done, but I need a break. Give me like 10 minutes, get myself together, get something to eat real quick, stuff my face, get the energy back. Y'all know I don't feel good. 
and then we're going to get back to it because the last museum that I want to go to is the best. And we're running out of daylight time as well. I just realized the time. Let me find something to eat. Water burger it is. Yeah, I got to get some energy, y'all, and then we get right back to it. Just give me give me a minute cuz Ooh. I feel so drowsy like I could just pass out. Water burger, I have to do. Yes, um give me a second to look. Actually, let me go ahead and get that number two, the double meat water burger. With cheese? Yes, please. What's and, your drink? Um, let me get a sweet tea. You want a sweet tea? Yes, and could Anything you? Else? Yes, could you remove the tomatoes and the onions off of that for me? Yes, no onion, no, no. tomato. Yes, okay. ma'am, and um, like two spicy ranches. I mean, spicy ketchups. You and that's all. Mm-hmm. Okay, 1146 Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, you had a cookie out chocolate shake? Well, a burger and fries. I kid you not, a burger and fries. I kid you not, a burger and fries, $12 over here. That's a soul food plate back in Georgia. And then the soul food plates over here. Every time I get soul food here from a restaurant, I'm spending at least $20. At least $20. Every time. But that's why I got to learn how to cook all this stuff on my own. You know what I'm saying? Almost $12 for a burger and fries. I ain't getting nothing special. Matter of fact, I removed some things. See, honestly, 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 I'm feeling a little re-energized already. Just... I just don't understand. Don't give me one spicy ketchup and fries. Very much McDonald's teas. Probably explains why I don't like them that much because I don't like McDonald's fries. I like a nice, thick, crinkle fry. Real nice and real thick. Just like me. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Mm. These one of them places. Waterbury is one of them places that don't believe in putting ketchup on your sandwiches. Spicy ketchup for the win, y'all. That's much better. That's way better. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. I'm already almost full. Gotta take the head off for this one, guys. Taking the head off for this one. <sighs> I should have got a single. Which burger I got left? Okay. Definitely full now. Right. So now I'm sleeping. I knew this was gonna happen. I was trying so hard to wait to eat, but I ain't eat all day. I can't eat anymore, y'all. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. It was really good though. It, it did what it was supposed to. I'm not even gonna lie. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. I feel, do not feel energized at all. 
mm -mm, I'm not going to sleep. Although I could go to sleep in this car right now. I'm telling you, like, I could just. But I'm not going to do it. The next place that we're going to is the Houston Museum of Contemporary Art. I'm excited. I have to wake up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Because that burger and fries did what it was supposed to do. But we're definitely going to go to another museum. And we have about three more left to go to. So <sighs> hopefully we can make it to all of them. I'm looking at the time and it might not give. It might not give. It might not be given go to all of them today. It might be given go to the main ones today. Since I've tried the little, the smaller ones. Alright y'all, without further ado, let's hit the road. I'm full, I hope you're full. We still got a little bit more to do, so go on get back up. Go on get back up and get ready to go. My crew, my crew. This is the type of stuff that I was, yeah, this is the kind of, I want to be able to get up in these faces. Uh, what? Look at this. Do you see the face in there? Oh, ah, that is dope. I feel like my cousin would enjoy and appreciate this one the most. Look how they all pointing, all the fingers are pointing at him. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving now the Contemporary Museum and the Arts Museum. The fine art is right there. So we're going across the street. I'm glad it's close. Okay, let's start with how huge this place is. Some stuff with some exhibits over there. There's exhibits in there. There's exhibits up there, up the stairs, up those stairs. I like this one. This is too mm. Let me keep it moving because there's a, oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Second floor, me please. This will take forever. We in Egypt, y'all. Hold on, we in Egypt. We in Egypt. Look. A mummy mask. Mmm, so cool. 
That's real. That is so good. The hieroglyphics on the inside. Oh my god, look at the marks on it. Is that... What? It's a murder scene. halfway through this place. That's what we do. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. I'm getting to it. I'm getting so high. Yeah, I'm getting so high. A lady. A whole lady. This is Islamic art. Art from Islam. Kind of looks like a chessboard. so many little itty bitty detailed pieces but they're all so small all right golden worlds the portable universe of indigenous columbia okay I couldn't even get through this whole museum. I'm so pissed. Like, there's so much and different buildings and different exhibits. And 
I just don't feel good. I don't feel good. I just don't feel good today, y'all. Normally, I would go through this whole museum. And, yeah, it's just not giving that today. It's not giving that. I'm so sorry. But, <laughs> I'm going to go lay down and go to sleep. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, it's not like I didn't go anywhere, right? And we're here at the museum. It's just huge. And it's going to take me about three more hours to finish looking at everything. So, I'll just come back on another Thursday. If y'all want another video like this, let me know. I'll be happy to. But until then, the museum day is over. We had a little mukbang and everything. Had a good time today, y'all. Next week, we're still going to be outside.